Hey, it's Brett here, Mountain Bike More. And one of the best things I ever did with mountain biking was I went tubeless. Uh, the first time it was really scary. I was like, oh, I got a bike that works. But I went tubeless, it worked. And since then I've set up many, many tires on my bikes and on my kids' bikes. And I've helped friends with bikes. And it makes a world of a difference. I think I've had two flats and six years of tubeless tires, thousands of miles. So I hope this helps you go tubeless and ride more. Now, along the way, I'm gonna teach my daughter how to set up a tubeless tire. She's never even changed a tire in her life. So who knows what mischief or what mistakes we're gonna make. I'm gonna leave links all over the place so that you can find the spot that you need the most because I know when I use YouTube, I get lost sometimes and I have to re-watch things over and over again. So I hope this, you like this mountain bike more. Crash more. Comment. All right, so we went around the rim, made sure that it was clean as could be, and now we're gonna start about an inch past the hole, the hole for the valve, uh, right there. And on this wheel, the thing is, be careful when you cover it up with the tape, you don't know where you started. So this wheel has some blue to show us where we're gonna start and get it right in the middle and press it down make it so there's not a single air bubble there you gotta be real careful with that and as you pull the tape you keep pressing with your thumb and get rid of all the air bubbles slide your thumb in there get everything to stick perfect there we go oops it's not perfect but we'll do the best we can A big fat thumb in the middle works the best. Well, as you work your way around the rim, keep getting rid of all the air bubbles. You want it to sit perfectly in the middle or the best you can. Keep the tape, tape tight, generally helps. Try not to unstick the tape too many times because then it won't stick very well. Every once in a while, it's good to go back and make sure that all the, it's perfectly stuck. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I'm gonna lend an extra thumb right here. That looks really good. It's really sideways. All right, I'll try to keep it as centered as possible. It's never perfect. Uh, that's the bubble you can't have. Kind of. And once more, I'll go back and just press those, make sure there's not a single bubble back there. There you go. Make sure it's sticking in the middle and on the sides. I'm trying. I heard. You're going to have to turn it off.
Every once in a while we have to straighten out the tape. That's what dad just snuck in and did. I'll be careful of those bubbles. Because remember the whole idea of this tape is it keeps the liquid inside between the tape and the tire and doesn't let it get to the rim. You definitely make sure there's no air bubbles back there. Even on the especially on the edges. Now before you go over the other tape, make sure that other one's perfectly sealed. So on the other end, about a foot ahead of you. About a foot ahead of you, right here, look. See this part right here? Make sure that's stuck. All right, and go all the way. A little comedy for our work. Trash truck, groceries. Further? All the way. Yeah, you gotta go at least another inch. It's here. It's right there. All right. Yep. I'll grab you the scissors. Now make sure the seal is really, really good. Huh. Through, make sure the tape stuck and sealed everywhere, especially at the end. So see the end? Be careful at the end. Right there, make sure that that's really stuck down well, because once liquid seeps under there, you're in trouble. Yeah, good job. That looks really good. Wow, oh, that's really good. Yeah, definitely get the, check the edges. All right, I think the tape's good. All right, so time to put the tire back on. Remember that we put a C on the side for the cassette? There you go. All right. Do we need the tool? Oh, there's um, nothing in there. Before we put that in, actually, there's one other thing. We got to put the valve in. Make sure it's fairly clean because it's going to create a seal. Take the little nut off the end. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the hole first. So we gotta make a little hole in the tape before we shove that through. Alright, so find your hole. Tiny little hole. Don't stab yourself. There you go. Be, there, I wouldn't push too hard. Did it go through? There you go. I heard it. 
Now I'll put the valve through. Now it would have been really cool if I had had an ice pick ready for you. That would have made that a lot easier. But like all amateur bike mechanics, we make do with what we have. Maybe a little bigger hole would have been a better. All right, if you pull that out, you're gonna pull up the tape a little bit. So if you pull it out, just make sure you reseal the tape. Yeah, I might have to pull it out. All right, reseal that tape. Get that tape to stick. Get rid of all the air bubbles, both sides. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's, it's probably big enough. Make sure it's sealed. That could be our problem right there. All right, put the core in, I mean the valve in. There you go. Push it through. Okay, look, be careful with the tape. We know it fits because it was in there earlier. Doesn't want to fit now. I had the timer went off. Do you want me to pull it out? I uh, check on it first. Okay. It looks good. Okay. Do I need to screw it? If it works. The whole point is to keep that tape sealed. It looks like there's some debris in there. Can you clean it up? Where? Like all this white stuff. Is that tape? It's it's kind of getting on there. Oh, I think that was nail polish. Oh. All right. Oh yeah, that was nail polish. And you want to push it in so it makes a good seal, but you don't want to crank it super tight. Time now to put the tire on. See, he goes on the side of the cassette. Alright, set it in there. There you go. Get one side of the bead in. Like this? Mm-hmm. Now keep your hand inside that so it protects your knuckles. I don't think it's doing much. Okay. So we have it in, inside the bead. Mm -hmm. And then we go like this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe lift up the tire a little bit. Yeah, there you go. I just lost.
lost the entire thing. A lot of times the first side you can just do with your hands real quickly. You don't need that tool. But it's not staying in. So lift the tire up. There you go. And just use your thumbs. But it's not like staying on. Use gravity as your friend. Make sure you're not touching the rotor. The you're almost there. Just moved. Uh huh. Sp spin it so the side's already done is on the top. Gravity will hold that side in place. There you go. Try not, don't get your arm on the rotor because we're going to have to clean it now. Here, watch this. You can roll the, the tire. Look at that. We did one half, now you gotta do, don't quite do the whole second half. Leave an opening. There you go. All right, that's probably good enough. All right, so we have this opening here. That's where we're gonna put our fluid. And after that, I'm gonna take over because I don't want, need you to scrape your knuckles any worse than I, I will do. All right, sh whoa, whoa, shake it up, shake it up for a whole lot. It really has to be shaken up. Put it in there so it goes, spans about three, a little more, a little more. There it goes, three, a little more. Try not to get it on. There you go. All right. Now, while I do this and try to get that to seal, can you get some, a bowl of soapy water? Yes. How big? And you want to grab me that tire lever that has the hook on it? And the long ones. I want to say spin doctor. All right. Ready to shoot it in there? Yeah. All right. You want to put it in there so it goes, spans about three, a little more, a little more. There it goes, three, a little more. Try not to get it on. There you go. All right. Now, while I do this and try to get that to seal, can you get some, a bowl of soapy water? Yes. Okay. Uh, take this. Just any size bowl will do.
just a little bit of soapy water between right on the tire right at the edge of the wheel itself yeah just like that yep and you want to go quickly because it'll dry yep you want on the on the tire part not on the rim part All right. This would be way better to do. All right, now do the other side. There you go, and that just helps it pop in easily. All right. All right, I loosen up the valve, the little nozzle at the end. Yep. All right. Then you're going to take put put this on and then flip it yeah flip it down try not to bend your valve maybe put it down first and then flip it up I don't remember which way this one works. So it goes this way. Does it even bend that way? Hold on. Between the barking dog, the compressor, you heard the pops, or you didn't hear the pops. Now we just put it on its side for half an hour, shake it every once in a while, and then do the other side. For half an hour. Shake it to get all the fluid in, right spots. Make sure the duct tape's not sticking to the stuff on our tire. Don't do that. And there you go. this video helped you, please hit like, hit subscribe, and if you have any more questions, leave me comments. I totally want to help you uh, give you comments and, and answer your questions. So leave the tire on its side, shake it every couple minutes if it's troublesome, and then flip it after half an hour, do the same thing, and it should be good. I set up many tubeless tires this way and had tons of success, and as long as the tire and wheel are tubeless ready and the sealant's good, it's all been good. Mountain bike more. Ride more. Subscribe. Laugh more. Like. Crash more. Comment. Crash more. Comment.